right, we're going to review some problems from your handout on um, drawing and naming system trans isomers of alkenes. All right, in this problem, we are told we have an alkene that is four carbons long, hence the but and the ene. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this double bond because I see that we have an isomer of it. Um, so here's my double bond. This is carbon two and carbon three. So I know I'm going to have another carbon on either side of those to create my butene. I am also told that this is a trans isomer. So that means that if I were to draw a line through the double bond, I would need to have one group on one side of the double bond and a group across from it on the other side of the double bond. So um, let's go ahead and erase that. Let's erase that line. And I'm going to go ahead and draw um, my other carbon. There's nothing coming off of that one, but I do have a chlorine coming off of my second carbon, which is right here. And a chlorine coming off of my third carbon. Now I have to figure out, am I going to put the carbon going down or going up? Remember, because this is trans, I have to put it going down so it's across that double bond um, and it's in the trans isomer. So I'm going to go ahead and put my final carbon. So now I have one, two, three, and four carbons. So butene, okay, the double bond is at the second carbon. I have my chlorine coming off of my second carbon as well as my third carbon. Notice that they're trans to each other. Um, and I'm going to erase that red line. So you should come up with the trans isomer for that. All right, in this problem, we have the hexene, which is a six carbon um, molecule, and it has a double bond. And according to the name, we're told the double bond is at the third carbon. So I'm going to start off. There's nothing else on here, so I'm just going to start by writing my first two carbons. Um, because this is cis, I'm going to make sure that I draw my line going down for my double bond. And cis means that they're on the same side. So if I were to draw a line through that, they should, my next group should be up here as well. So they're on the same side of that double bond. Um, so I'm going to continue going up. So I have one, two, three, four carbons already. This will be our fifth carbon and our sixth carbon. Um, if you're having trouble knowing how many hydrogens to put in or you're concerned about getting um, any of that out, don't worry about the hydrogens right away. Worry about those carbons. Place your double bond and draw what you're looking at. So here we have the cis, and then I can always go back and fill in those hydrogens later. Um, but worry about the main structure of carbon first. All right, let's go ahead and number our carbons um, and figure out how long our chain is to get the parent chain. If I number from the left, it's three carbons before I get to the double bond. If I number from the right, it'll be four carbons. Since that takes precedence, I'm going to number from the left to give that double bond the lowest number carbon possible. Okay, so we have hept for seven and it has a double bond, so I'm going to name it heptene. First thing I need to do is state what carbon that double bond's on, and that is on carbon 3. So we have a 3-heptene. As I look at that double bond and I draw my line, I notice that um, my chain is on opposite sides or they're across the double bond from each other. So I do know that this is a trans molecule. I'm going to hang on to that because that's going to have to go at the beginning, um, but I'm just going to note that. Now we can worry about our um, alkyl halides that are coming off. So I have a bromine coming off in both the three carbon position as well as the four carbon position. So I can name this three, four, di, bromo, three heptene. And I'm going to come back. That trans needs to go in the front to tell me that my carbons are across the double bond from each other. They're in the trans. Um, isomer. So my final name is the trans 3,4 dibromyl 3 heptene.